Meanwhile, the White House uh, this week unveiled its Christmas decoration, and Ainsley Earhart, who I, who I know very well, got a behind-the-scenes look. And I know you very well, too, Brian Kilme. <laughs> That's right. We had a chance to go inside the White House with the First Lady to see just how beautiful everything was in person. Mm. We got a first-hand look with the First Lady, Melania Trump. Hi, Mrs. Trump. Hello. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Do you mind walking us through and telling of us course, about Of course, yes. So here we are in the Cross Hall and Grand Foyer. And DC is representing, you could see the color red, it represents the bravery, heart, and patriotism. So here we go to the East Room, that it's decorated in blue, and then we will see later on the State uh, Room. And here we are, this is red, blue, and white. Very patriotic. And it's patriotic, and it reminds us of American flag. Okay, so let's walk this way and we're going to see the decorations. We have thousands of thousands of people coming through here and see the decorations. So it's very exciting. So here we are arriving in, in the East Room. This represents diversity of the cities in the United States. Oh, in the manger, the crash, that's beautiful. Yes, this is the 51st year that it's displayed here. You have a lot of volunteers that you rely on. We have uh, over 6,000 applications and uh, around 230 uh, volunteers came and did in six days everything. And I understand that you make it a priority to, to choose volunteers that are in the military or represent military families? Correct, uh, that as well. And we start planning in July. Well, most families do one tree. You have yes. so many trees here yes. and so many hallways to decorate and rooms to decorate. And it's a big every room, uh, it's different. Every room has a different uh, representation. Mm -hmm. And this uh, year, it's a theme of American treasures. I love this. I love how you've incorporated some fruits and some vegetables. Yes, yeah, this is the harvest room. It's a green room and it's a harvest room. And there are a variety of vegetables and uh, fruits and grains on it. So it represents um, what America produces. Mm -hmm. Our farmers. How are you guys celebrating Christmas? We will be in, uh, in Palm Beach okay. celebrating. This was the tree from North Carolina, right? North Carolina this year. And uh, this is the official Christmas tree, White House Christmas tree and it's 18 feet tall. Wow, and all the, the states are represented? All the states and the regions, yes, territories. And what will you get the president this year for Christmas? Oh, I didn't think that, I'm too busy. <laughs> do you exchange gifts? <laughs> yes, we do sometimes, yes, but I'm so busy now and it's very important that I focus on, on this uh, project now. I think you have a good excuse. Yeah. This is the, um, uh, decorations they represent uh, how each child can excel uh, on their own path through education, arts, sport, um, technology, and then you could see uh, on the mantle there be best ornaments. Yes. And also we have a two wreaths uh, with be best pencils. Where are we going now? We're going to a state room. So this is the room that uh, have the national symbols. If you, you could see the two of um, bold eagles. Mm -hmm. Here is the famous uh, gingerbread house. This is a gingerbread house? Yes. A white gingerbread house. White gingerbread A replica house. of the White House. Correct. And what is very special on this, because it's the first year that is done, a national mall. I'll leave you with one last question. Do you have a Christmas message for America? I do. I wish everyone Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, prosperous and peaceful New Year. You saw the soccer ball on one of the Christmas trees. 
Is because that for Baron? Yes, that was for okay. Baron, and that was in the video that she posted on Instagram because she, you know, did a walkthrough on Instagram as well. Yeah, excellent. And he's on uh, the DC United Academy team. He's, he's supposed to be great. Yeah, he's 11 years old. He's already six. He's about taller than his parents yeah. already. <laughs> and you know, it's funny. There are people on social media who were kind of going after the decoration. I mean, they will criticize They'd literally criticizing anything. Criticizing the wreaths, the be best wreaths that were made out of there, pencils. and it's absolutely beautiful Gorgeous. for any president. I've covered, you know, when I covered Bush, Obama. The people around the White House, they always do a wonderful job. We should celebrate yeah. it regardless of who's president. Well, she has said in, in some of her interviews that she doesn't trust everyone within the White House. And I said, is there anyone in the White House and the administration you want to give a bag of coal to? And she said, yeah, there are. I said, you want to tell me who they are? And she said, no, no. I'll just leave it at Maybe that. Maybe next year I'll tell yeah. you.